guys, it's Courtney with Courtney's Customs and today I am going to be doing this, I don't know what to call it, I guess you would call it maybe like a brush stroke burst maybe. I've seen so many different variations of it around TikTok and Instagram and Pinterest so I had to try it for myself. I'm going to be sanding and prepping a 20 ounce skinny straight from Maker Flow Crafts and I was trying to decide like what kind of color scheme I was wanting to go with. I've seen so many beautiful like elegant color schemes and then I've seen very like like vintage vibe color schemes and I don't really know the kind of vibe that I'm going with here but I still think it's going to be really pretty. Um, this is Orange Slice Paint from Color Shot and Ocean Deep from Pop of, Pop of Color Paints. Um, I get my color shots at Walmart. You can get Pop of Color Paints from the Glitter Grind. And then I haven't decided what glitter I want to put on it yet. I know it's going to be Glitter Grind, but I'm not sure what color. So let's start by sanding our tumbler and getting it painted. Also, before I get started here with the sanding, I did want to show you a different um, tool, I guess I call them goodies, but something different from Bama Cups. This, instead of using the um, pool noodles that kind of get like warped over time, this, and he's got different sizes for all kinds of different, of different tumblers, I'm going to put my pool noodle, or I'm sorry, not my pool noodle, my PVC pipe right into it, stick it down in there, and this is so sturdy, like there's no way it's going anywhere. I have my um, Bama Cups link down in my description with a discount code Courtney. You get 10% off, but I had to show this off because it's really stinking cool. Alright, so everything dried beautifully except for that one little spot. I don't know if you can see on camera, but I touched it while it was still tacky and um, I messed it up, but it's okay. So, this is such a beautiful, vibrant orange color. I'm really excited to put this ocean deep paint on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start in the middle and swipe it out to the point where it gets kind of like frayed looking on the ends, like really thin, and um, do the same towards the top and the bottom. And then we will add the glitter later. So I'm going to take... I'm going to start with this brush. It's, I don't even know where I got it. Probably the dollar store, but it's like a really, really soft kind of like fan brush. And I'm just going to use the paint that's on the lid to start with. And I'm going to start creating my middle. And it looks a little weird. Like what the heck are you doing right now? But I'm just kind of like putting where I want my middle to be. Um, so I can go off of that. Okay. And this paint is really, really pigmented. It looks awesome. All right, so I've got my middle. So I'm going to start going down first. So I'm going to take my brush and just swipe like so. Different heights. I don't want everything to be like exactly the same. I want to leave like some gaps. I want to make some longer than others. So I'm going to do this all the way around until I'm satisfied. Now this is what I'm left with and I am actually going to let this sit overnight I think because I need to get going and this the pop of color paints when you put it on kind of thick and heavy like like I did towards the middle it does take a hot minute to dry so I'm going to let this sit overnight and then I will come back and do the next step. All right, so here we are the next day. Again, please know that it is not necessary to wait the next day. I just didn't have the extra hour or so to let the um, pop of color paint dry. So I just let it sit overnight. There's no epoxy over it. I just left it how it was yesterday. So now it's time to add like the, the glitter burst. And what I'm going to do is add it pretty heavy around the center and pretty much the same concept as this paint here. I'm going to add it heavy around the center and then kind of like 
very softly ombre it out um, to the top and the bottom. Now the glitter I've chosen for this is called Dreamer from the Glitter Grind. This is so, so pretty. And it's like, a, obviously it's a color shift. You can see that color shift going on there. But it almost kind of looks opal-ish. Oh, is that a word? <laughs> But it's really, really pretty, and I thought it would look nice on this tumbler. So I am going to go in, like always, with my Mod Podge and my soft makeup brush. And I'm going to add some Mod Podge pretty much over the entire tumbler. Not because I plan on adding glitter over the entire thing, but because I want this glitter to kind of fall as naturally as possible and I don't want to stop my Mod Podge in a straight line and make my glitter stop in a straight line. So I am just adding glitter over the entire thing and wherever the glitter falls, it falls. But it'll look more natural that way. I really hope that made sense. So now I'm going to take my glitter, apply it heavy ish in the middle here and now I'm going to take it from that center point and tilt my tumbler to make the glitter fall this way and just a little not heavy at all I'm aiming for the middle part but since my tumbler is tilted it's making it fall outwards shake 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 now tilting the other way again aiming for the middle but since my tumbler is tilted it's gonna fall down and create a very natural I don't want to say ombre because I'm not really going for an ombre so to speak I mean maybe I am but I'm just wanting it to naturally fall so let me get a little more going this way And the more that you tilt your tumbler, the further down that glitter is going to fall. So I'm really putting a harsh tilt on it right now because I want it to fall a little more than it was earlier. Same way for this side, but I'm still aiming at that middle. All right, so I'm going to let this Mod Podge dry so you can really get a good look at what it looks really looks like it's kind of hard to tell with the Mod Podge so I'm gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes dry completely and then I will come back and show you so this is what it looks like when the Mod Podge is dry and I absolutely love this I think it looks so so pretty all of the glitter laid down flat on its own I haven't even had to go really push anything down too much so now I'm going to seal this a couple of times with Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Enamel I'm going to pop it on my turner back here from Bama Cups I'm going to add two coats of epoxy and then we can come back for a decal Alright, after a couple coats of epoxy, it's ready for a decal. So I am going to be doing an offset because I like those a lot. And I found this image from Creative Fabrica. This is the offset part of it. It says love yourself more. And I'm going to put this light opal chrome vinyl from my website over it. I feel like that's going to go really, really well with this glitter. So let me get this weeded really quickly. Alright, so now I've got them both weeded out. I am going to apply the images one by one so I'm going to apply the um, offset one first which is this black one it's much thicker and I had like a perfect spot I think it was like right it's all smooth but like this right here was the absolute smoothest spot so right here I'm going to put it down on my cup cradle from Bama Cups so it does not roll around all over the place I'm just trying to make sure it's nice and straight And now I'm going to apply this one directly over top. I'm trying to center it the absolute best that I can into that black, which it looks pretty daggone good. Look how cute. Love yourself more. I absolutely love it. So now I'm just going to put some final coats of epoxy on this and I will come back to show you the finished results. 
After some epoxy, this is what it looks like, and I think it's so cute. The colors are, I think they go really good together, and then the vinyl and everything, I just think it looks really cute. I love it. Before I go, like always, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day, and today's quote is, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor, and that was said by Franklin D. Roosevelt. That is all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you love this as much as I do. And if y'all have any questions, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe, be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!